Hello everyone, welcome to the Ecamm channel. This is Xue Hang. Today I'm going to show you a method to understand the charge storage mechanism based on electrochemical impedance tests. The name of the technique is called 3D bolt analysis. The content in this video is from these two papers. If you are interested to know more about the methods, please refer to the original papers. A link to these two papers are offered in the description of the video below. Previously in our tutorial video number 1, 10, 11, and 12, we talked about using CVs and GCD to understand the charge storage mechanism. In brief, a rectangular shaped CV means EDLC. A mirror-like shape means pseudocapacitive, and a well-separated peaks means battery type. But you may also notice that there are some CVs shows very vague characteristics. For example, a pseudocapacitor can also show a close to rectangular shaped CV due to the overlap among a series charge transfer processes at a wide potential window. So in this case, it is hard to tell the difference between the EDLC and the pseudocapacitor. You may also find a CV with a combined characteristics of capacitive type and battery type. Then what is the contribution of each mechanism at different potential? This is why we need some extra methods to electrochemically understand charge storage processes. Here is an example that the 3D bolt plot are first employed. On the manganese oxide electrodes, the integration of zinc ion is diffusion controlled and the sodium storage is pseudo-capacitive. JSCO, etc. studied the charge storage mechanism with mixed zinc and sodium ion based electrolyte. Based on the CV, it is very clear that the sodium intercalation is capacitive. All other electrolytes with zinc ions all show similar battery-like features. Based on the B-value calculation, the mixed sodium and zinc ion electrolytes show B-value of about 0.7. This suggests the presence of both capacitive and diffusion controlled in the mixed electrolyte. Analysis using bolt plot provide much less ambiguous deconvolution of the time-based response of an electrode. In a 3D bolt plot, the relation between the potential, frequency, and the capacitance are monitored at the same time. With only sodium present in the electrolyte, the 3D bolt plot appears as a single waterfall. The potential independent capacitance generally falling off as frequency increases. In zinc ion-based electrolyte at lower frequency, capacitance maximizes near 1.5 volt. The maximum points quickly fall with either higher frequency or with different potentials. When using a mixed electrolyte with 6 sodium and 1 zinc, the 3D bolt plot shows a well-developed waterfall shape, as well as a maximum point at about 1.5 at low frequency. This gives a very clear illustration the presence of both pseudocapacitive and battery type, and the battery type become dominating mechanism at potential above 1.3 volt. Here we show another example that 3D bolt plot is used to understand the charge storage mechanism in 2D magazines with acidic and neutron aqueous electrolyte. In the acidic electrolyte, titanium carbide shows a pair of strong peaks corresponding to surface redox reaction. Meanwhile, the CV is rectangular in the one molar lysin sulfate electrolyte. In a 3D bold plot, the y-axis is the real component of capacitance. It is derived from impedance measurement by this equation. The C prime reflects the contributions from fast electrochemical processes, double layer or redox based, that are reversible at a given frequency for the applied AC waveform. 
and thus can be used to discriminate different processes on the basis of their time scale. The 3D bold map showed that charge storage mechanism of titanium carbide is distinctly different in acidic and neutron aqueous electrolyte. C prime reached its highest value at potential near negative 0.3 volt in the low frequency region, indicating pronounced redox response. At other potentials, titanium carbide exhibits capacitive response. Hence, titanium carbide has a complex charge storage mechanism due to a combination of capacitive and redox process operating at different potentials. In a neutral aqueous electrolyte, 3D bold plot shows a waterfall shape, which is typical to capacitive type response. We maintain this channel only on the weekends. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. The videos in our eCam channel are only for educational purposes and not sharing. Please subscribe, share, and like our videos to support our channel. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.